Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am your host with the most, and I don't mean to boast, but I'm a beast. And for that, let's have a toast. Oh, I forgot that was toilet water. Anyways, we have some news topics that we have to cover, and things are getting serious with yet another bathroom stall allegation from Ben Roethlisberger. This time he didn't hit a woman, so, well, good job there. But instead, he accidentally used the women's restroom. Roethlisberger was spotted while taking a deuce when a elderly woman walked in and smelled something a little funky. Because of this, she decided to take matters into her own hands and opened up the bathroom door whenever she seen something that she didn't expect. A big old turd. Roethlisberger has since then responded and it seems as if he and the elderly woman are now dating. You got to be kidding me. Switching topics over to Cowboys coach Jason Garrett and for everybody that remembers he lost an eye last week trying to butter toast. Well anyways get this he must be going through some tough times because he ended up losing his other eye trying to go through a children's coloring book. What is wrong with people? Is my forehead red? I hope not. Up next another NFL coach that has clearly lost his mind. Jim Harbaugh was caught in his office with over three gallons of glue with two of them already being consumed. Now the league's trying to figure out what to do with Harbaugh because technically this isn't against their terms. It's not a Jim Mercer situation, but it's messed up though. You can't be eating glue like that. Just a couple spoonfuls for breakfast and stop there. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. As we all know, Jay Gruden and his Redskins are doing horrible this year. Well, anyways, he's doing something that nobody's ever considered. It's never been done before, and I wonder why. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's get into the topic. He has put it upon himself to go through the hiring process and set up interviews for the head coaching position. He is the head coach of the team. We'll just let that sink in for a little bit. Joe Flacco puts up triple-double in midget basketball game. This next one has caused a little bit of controversy after a post by Bleacher Report titled Chasing a Legend. This was a really long article, but the highlight that a lot of people are taking out is whenever it said, Philip Rivers must not have gotten the memo that he's supposed to be slowing down with age. He moved beyond Ben Roethlisberger this week on the passing yardage list. How many Super Bowls does Philip Rivers have? That's what I thought. It's getting me so mad. What's up, guys, and welcome to the Hulk series. We're in week 12. Why are we in week 12? Because we should be in week 10. There's a reason why we haven't come out with the Hulk series in a couple weeks. These videos keep getting jacked up two weeks in a row, okay? One that we won, one that we lost. There's really not much of a way that I can explain myself besides the videos got messed. Ugh. Frustrating? Yes, it definitely is. Let me explain where we're at now in the season. Two weeks ago, we were actually in last place because I lost to... Oh crap, I forget who it was. Oh yeah, the Bears. We lost to the Bears. We both had the same record but because the Bears beat us. They have a better divisional record. They were ahead of us. We ended up playing our next game, which was against the Ravens. We barely slid by them, but we got the win. The Bears lost. We moved up to third place. We're now third in our division. Things really aren't looking great. The Vikings are 9-1. and one. They pretty much have a playoff spot locked up, so we're playing for the wild card. It's us versus the Lions in a whole bunch of teams that have a similar record. So just because we beat the Lions per se doesn't mean that we're going to make the playoffs. We need to amp things up big time because 5-5 five and five just ain't cutting it. Oh yeah, and by the way, it just so happens that we're first in the Pittsburgh Steelers this week, dang it. So, because we have a big game, we might as well spend our XP, almost 10,000 of it, I might add. Now, we've been smacking on our throwing accuracy. All of them are up to an 80, but one thing that you guys brought to note that I'm starting to agree with you guys a lot with is our awareness. I think we're going to use that XP on our awareness, bring it up to an 87. Apparently it's important in almost every situation. Or so they're telling me. So we're gonna go ahead and spend it on our awareness all the way up to a 75 overall. Now, oh, son of a gun, the camera cut out there. But we're kind of excited about this though. Steelers, do they technically have a superhero on their team? I mean, Ben, Bell, AB, do I need to keep going? You see that stadium right there? The big turd stain that's going down their field? That's where we're playing. Crap. Huh? Not a game, not a game. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. We're not talking about practice, okay? I mean, what the heck, why not just go ahead, okay? Let's just wrap this practice session up and forget it ever happened. Okay, our goals for this week, complete 75% of our passes, not gonna happen. Protect the ball, no more than two turnovers. Maybe we might be able to pull that one off and then throw two touchdown passes. Yeah, that's right, who you looking at? You guys ready to have a little bit of fun today? I didn't mean to go in that stall, I swear. Let's get this show on the road. Steelers giving us the ball. And okay, noticing two different things. Number one, you guys didn't know this, but we have Jordy Nelson. You can't really see him. He's on the way edge of the screen. And also, we're in our own territory already. Shoot. Now, I've been really liking the return of Jordy Nelson. Bye, have a great time. The awareness. Why do we upgrade the awareness? Now, we got a lot of yards to get. We fit one in there. That couldn't have been a better throw. Great 
cheapness right there, guys. Let's go. The back's turned on the cornerback, and my favorite target is there for the catch. Don't forget those two passing touchdowns that are a thing. That's pretty dang good coverage. Uh, I really don't think I should have threw that one, but I did because I'm bad. We're looking for some other guys. Nelson again. That's a touchdown, baby. There we go. That's going to be his fourth touchdown of the season. Now, don't forget this man's been out for a long time. Uh, okay, Steelers scored. They got to stop with that. Now, you guys know all about the Pittsburgh Steelers and their offense. We're going to have to potentially put up a ton of points this game. All day to throw, and we deliver a nice strike, yeah. and our receiver's going. He got the moves. Already a quarter down, and we got ourselves in a nice spot. There goes Hawk. Does he seem slower than anybody else? One more pass, and we'll already be over 100 yards for the game. Although I'm thinking a run might be the best bet right here. Get out of my way, boy. Let me get it. <laughs> That's not okay that he can do that. Our defense not doing bad after giving up one score to the Steelers. We got the ball right back. A chance to get up by a lot of points. Now we got up. Oh, come on. Dang, is that annoying. And I almost forgot that the Steelers actually had the ball right there. Okay, X, X, I don't think we can throw. We're just gonna have to run with it. Mike Mitchell, you loser. Stop trying to chase me, old hag. Okay, okay, oh my gosh. Shazier on that guy. We're going for a high point pass, leading it outside. Here we go. Thanks for pointing out that he has two fumbles this season. We're gonna be giving the ball to Montgomery on third and short. He's not a power back. Why would you call that play? Hopefully we can get three out of that drive at least. How did we, wait, what? Did we fake? It? Did we miss a field goal and they get a turnover? All right, this play is one that we kind of need to get redemption with again. Jordy Nelson again. Hey, oh, what a terrible throw. He was wide open. Gosh. I'm actually also a huge fan of this play. If we can get the play off, yes, Jordy Nelson caught that somehow. Oh, man, your ankles must still be what pretty bad. What is that? What is that? Wait. But we're just going to forget about it because we got him again, maybe. In traffic comes down timeout. I think the coach is going to decide to kick a field Goal. No surprise. We're cool with that. We get our three points. And in the third quarter, we got the ball. A total of 245 yards now for our offense. We got a lot of game left to go. I see press coverage. If I know one thing about the Steelers, they can't do press coverage. These guys are just not good enough for that. What did I say? Jordy Nelson again. This guy is doing so much. Oh, Shazier can't cover that guy. Wait, what's Shazier doing on the field? Isn't he hurt? And we're looking for that one more touchdown pass. I waited way too late. Oh, no. So terrible. This is where we messed up. Hulk should have way better throw power than just 70, you know? Hey, hey, boys, how about we get this playoff right here? And not only that, how about we pick up the first down? That's the Montgomery I like. Fourth quarter tie game. Sunday primetime, too? Come on now. Um, that's not gonna be there, but that will be there. I'm liking all these... No, 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 no. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, my gosh, defense. If you could just get a stop once. I am the one, the way you're talking... Both of our offenses are just giving each other so many different chances. Bud Dupree, you wanna come at me? Oh, man, he did. Oh, man, I am so not feeling this play. Maybe I am, though. Now, see, if I'm calling my own plays, I might not be running this right here. Yeah. This is where Hulk needs to be great and show his power. Not even touched, and there it is. Touchdown lead now. Let's go. Get the stop on the Steelers. Let's not worry about anything. They tied it. The first play, the coach is calling the run play, and Montgomery found that gap. This so far going down as a game that we probably won't want to forget, unless if we lose. It, you know, Hulk's getting in the zone right now. As long as we don't get a turnover, things are all good. What a play from him. Jordy Nelson, give me that block. Let's go, Hulk. Make it happen. Down to the three. This guy that we're watching is doing things that real humans just can't do. And that's setting us up here. Packer fade. Now, you guys are stupid if you think I'm going to throw up a fade route. We either hit Jordy real quick or we do nothing. Jordy got him. Back shoulder. Got it. Banger. Touchdown. Game over and over time. And the Packers are going on with the dunk. I don't know, my boys. I think that might be the game of the year so far. Sunday night football going into Pittsburgh. One of the better teams in the league this year. Back and forth. Turnover after turnover after touchdown after lead change after overtime. And we came home with the dub. I say what we do real quick before we wrap it up is see where we're going to stand after this week is completely over. We're paying attention to the Bears.
Bears, and we're also paying attention to the Lions, who also, wait, they lost. So now we're tied with the Lions. The Vikings, you guys can stop winning now. Honestly, you probably don't have to win another game. Anyways, though, guys, I'm your boy, Pizza. Hope you enjoyed Hulk in the NFL. The playoff race is on, and, you know, this is no lock. We're not guaranteed to make it. It's gonna be tough, and, I mean, we're gonna have to put some wins together. Straight cut and dry. With that said, though, guys, thank you so much for supporting the series. If you made it to the end of the video, how about this? Let me know what you think our final season record is gonna be and whether or not we're gonna make the playoffs or not. So, yeah, just put that down in the comments, and don't forget, guys, boom, baby, I'm your boy, Pizza, and until next time, don't forget to keep guy number one. I'll see all of you later next week on Packed Out, or, dang, that's wrong series. Superhero series, there we go. I'll see y'all later. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up before I say anything else stupid. Let's go. Got that win? Huge win. It's looking like Hulk might actually be up for Rookie of the Year. Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. Uh, anyways, Rookie of the Year and also MVP. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Can you stop, please? Dang.